we're going to create an orthographic projected map, uh, which is like looking at the world from space. And this will focus on Paris. So um, we're going to start with natural earth data that I've just imported. And we want to find that point to center our map on. So I'll click Find Places and select Paris. And then Add Places, but we'll deselect all and just select one place because we only want one place. OK, now we have that. And we can look at the attributes and see find our latitude and longitude. So. The, this is the latitude and the X is the longitude. So 2.35 and 48.85. So I'm just going to close out of that. And we'll come over to our map views. And I have my map toolbar. Um, this is the map publisher map toolbar. And I'll just go back to map views. Um, double click on our existing current map view and do perform coordinate system transformation. So we need to create two uh, projected uh, projections. So first one is azimuthal equal area. And we'll go with, I'll just go with this and copy that. <clears throat> and I'm going to change the name to Paris and define this. So our latitude is 48.85 and our longitude is 2.35. Click OK and we'll save that. Yes. And then we'll go to project it again and change this to orthographic. And we'll go with meter and copy that. We'll say Paris and define that. So our latitude is 48.85 and our longitude is 2.35. And OK, save. So I just saved both of those for future reference. And we'll close. And um, actually, we, we do want the azimuthal. So I'm going to click on azimuthal, OK, and reproject this. So we get that. Now we have our point. And I'm going to select the point and create a buffer around that point. So there's Map Publisher as buffer, buffer art. And we'll use the layer of Paris and kilometers and our value is 10,002.5 kilometers and we'll create a new layer and click OK. OK, so we have that. And if I select this, you can see it just has four points because it has a Bezier curve. So I'm going to um, use the path utilities and change that to polyline. So if I select the yeah, air, now you can see we have polylines. Then I'll go to Object, Map Publisher, Crop to Shape. And I'll go All Layers. OK, now that we've done that, we can go back to our map view and reproject this again. Um, and go to ortho. OK. And I'm just going to um, copy that and use it. I might mask this again. Um, but so we've got got this and I, I think I will just use that uh, path um, 
or map publisher crop to shape again. Okay, and we don't need the water. So I'm gonna take that ocean and just delete it. And we have this horizon here. That's what's selected. And I'm gonna use a graphic style, which is just like a gradient. And then move that down to the bottom. So now we have a map and I could also, um, you know, add some uh, shadow behind them that as well so I'll just copy um, paste behind and do uh, stylize drop shadow and you know whatever we want so that's it for creating an orthographic projection um, you know you can always just label this and then you'll be done.